Are you looking to take a vacation soon? Don't you wish there was a place where you could experience American history, incredible nature, and enjoy the vibrancy of a big city? And wouldn't it be nice if you could do all these things without having to spend a single dollar? Well, there's one great city that's got it all. Atlanta, Georgia is that city. Here you'll be able to enjoy the beautiful nature, learn American history, and feel overwhelmed by the vibrancy without having to break the bank. Let's look at the best free things to do in Atlanta, Georgia. Number 1. Check out the Silver Comet Trail The first thing you should do when you get to Atlanta is to check out the Silver Comet Trail. It starts just outside the city and goes to about 60 miles outside the Alabama border. It's a great trail for walking, hiking, or biking. It's completely free and full of stunning nature. You'll see beautiful forests, charming small settlements, and an excellent view of the sunset during the evenings. This trail is great for fitness enthusiasts and is a great way to bond with your friends and family if you're traveling with them. If you're a solo traveler, you're likely to meet other travelers and locals alike. You might want to check out the Silver Comet Trail twice during your trip. It's a great place to have a picnic if you're traveling with your group. And if you're looking to take photos, this is one of the most photogenic spots in Atlanta. Before we tell you more about the best free things to do in Atlanta, Georgia, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more. Number 2. Centennial Olympic Park The Centennial Olympic Park is the site of the 1996 Olympic Games. You'll enjoy over 20 acres of greenery, including a diverse array of trees. You can even enjoy a round or two on the ice skating rink. It's a great place to spend an entire day. It's great for walking, jogging, running, or biking. You can have a picnic here or sit on a bench and soak up the scenery. If you're looking for somewhere peaceful to catch up on an improving book, this is the place to go. The park also hosts many free events, so you might want to plan your trip to see a few of these. These have included expos, fairs, live performances, networking events, and festivals. It's another great place for solo travelers to come across other travelers or to hang out with locals. It's a great meeting point as well and is a place you'll want to visit several times. Make sure you experience it during the day and the evening. Number 3. A Walking History Tour Atlanta is a great place to learn about America's incredible history. You should take a free walking history tour beginning at Piedmont Park. Piedmont Park has over 200 acres of lush greenery and is a great place to spend your morning or afternoon. They even allow free swimming in the pool at certain times during the day. You can book a walking history tour while you learn about the growth of Atlanta and how it became one of America's most dynamic cities. If you're a solo traveler, you might make some new friends while embarking on a walking tour. If you're traveling with young children, it's a great way to teach them about American history. Number 4. Visit the Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield Park Another great spot for history buffs is the Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield Park. It's the site of a famous Civil War battle. You'll see many trails where you can walk with a group and learn about Civil War history. There are also several Civil War monuments where you can learn about the history of the war and the American South. It's open every day and is a great way to enjoy nature and learn about American history. This is especially a great place to visit if you're traveling with young children. Number 5. Visit the Oakland Cemetery This might sound like an odd choice for a holiday in Atlanta, but the Oakland Cemetery is a must-visit. The Oakland Cemetery is the resting place of some of Atlanta's most famous people. This includes Maynard Jackson and Bobby Jones. It's often frequented by locals and tourists who wish to pay their respects to Atlanta's heroes and heroines. You'll also find beautiful architecture in the Oakland Cemetery and incredible nature. Number 6. The Atlanta Monetary Museum Atlanta has several great museums that don't charge an admission fee. Here you'll learn about monetary history as well as the creation of the Federal Reserve. During the week, you can enjoy a free tour of the museum. You can also see rare coins and learn about the role of printed money in the U.S. If you find monetary history fascinating, then you don't want to miss out on this. If you're traveling with children, this is a museum they must see. From an early age, you want kids to learn about the economy and the monetary system, and this is one of the few museums where they can learn about both. Number 7. High Museum of Art Another great museum to visit is the High Museum of Art, which has a great collection of art from the 19th and 20th century. You'll see both contemporary art and modern art. You'll enjoy paintings, sculptures, and design. There's a collection of art from all over the world, ranging from American art to European art to African art. Ranging from American art to European art to African art. It's a great museum to visit for anyone who appreciates art. And a great reminder of why Atlanta is a dynamic and creative city. Number 8. Arabia Mountain Let's return to the incredible nature Atlanta offers. We recommend you visit Arabia Mountain. You can not only enjoy the nature, but you'll also learn about the history of Atlanta. You'll learn about the early migration, the history of slavery, the freed slaves, and even Trappist monks. You can enjoy hiking and biking in Arabia Mountain, which makes it a great place for fitness enthusiasts. You should consider visiting in the evenings to enjoy the sunset. And as with the Silver Comet Trail, you'll want to visit Arabia Mountain at least twice. It's a great place to visit to reflect upon your trip to Atlanta 
Montana and everything you've enjoyed on your vacation. Number 9. Noah's Ark Animal Sanctuary If you're a fan of animals and zoos, you might want to visit Noah's Ark Animal Sanctuary. It's a wildlife rehabilitation center that has rescued animals, including big cats, wolves, foxes, birds, horses, and primates. It's a great place to see animals roaming around and being taken care of by professionals. If you're traveling with children, they'll definitely love visiting the sanctuary. You can go on a self-guided free tour from Tuesday through Saturday from noon to 3 p.m. It's free to attend, but donations are welcomed. Number 10. Visit the Georgia Capitol Building and the Governor's Mansion Government buildings aren't always the first thing you think about seeing when you visit a new city, but the Georgia Capitol Building has a great museum you should visit. You can see historical artifacts as well as artwork. You'll learn about the history of Atlanta and of Georgia in general. It's one of America's most important cities, and the museum will show you the brilliance of the city. You can explore the museum on your own or go on a free tour with a guide. The building itself is also beautiful, so it's a great place for taking photos. You should also consider visiting the Governor's Mansion. The mansion is where the incumbent governor of Atlanta lives with his or her family. You'll see Greek Revival architecture and learn about Atlanta's history. To go on a public tour, you'll have to go in the morning on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or Thursdays. Number 11. Martin Luther King Jr. National Historical Park Here you'll learn about Dr. King's life and legacy. You'll see his birthplace and where he grew up as a child. This is, of course, one of Atlanta's most popular tourist destinations, so you want to get there early. But best of all, it's completely free and is a must-see to learn about one of America's greatest heroes. Number 12. Walk Around What's the final free thing you can do to enjoy Atlanta? Walk around during the day. It's a bustling and vibrant city that you'll love. You'll see why Atlanta attracts so many visitors and permanent settlers. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you ready to book your trip? What are you looking forward to the most in Atlanta? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation for more. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.